For six years, I've been an elementary special education teacher in New York. I love what I do and truly enjoy being a part of my students' lives every day. January 19 started out like any other morning at school. I was giving a math lesson when I noticed something strange. I was trying to say the word numerator and I started slurring my words. I felt dizzy and I quickly lost all feeling in the left side of my body. Thankfully, my colleagues jumped into action and called 911. Before I knew it, I was taken to Mount Sinai Stroke Center. The doctors confirmed I suffered a stroke and treated me right away. As a young and healthy person, I never thought in a million years that could happen to me. After a scary ordeal, I'm now recovering and doing well, and I can't wait to go back to teaching again very soon. Wow, and Eriti joins us now along with Dr. Sharon Majidi. Good morning to both of you. Hi, good morning. Good morning. And Eriti, we're so glad you're doing well now. We know you're recovering successfully, but can you take us back to that day when you were in the classroom? Were you conscious? Were you aware of what was happening in that moment? Oh, yeah, I, I knew everything that was going on. Um, there was no no loss of consciousness. It was, it was just really scary. But when you so when you were experiencing those those uh, symptoms already, uh, did you did you have a feeling that something was wrong that you maybe suspected a stroke or it was just you, you were wondering what was happening? Yeah, I you know, in the moment, I could not have told you what was happening. I, I you know, I knew the symptoms of the stroke. I just didn't think it applied to me as a young, healthy person. Mm -hmm. It didn't. Um, you know, it didn't cross my mind at all until I was in the emergency room and someone from the team um, came up to me and said, you know, that you're having a stroke right now. Jeez, what a scary way to learn about that. Doctor, you actually performed the procedure that <clears throat> removed the blood clot that caused uh, this stroke. Can you tell us a little bit about that? And also, what are some of the warning signs that people should know if they find themselves in similar situations? Yeah, the uh, procedure that we did is called endovascular thrombectomy. It's a minimally invasive brain surgery when we navigate the catheter uh, through the vessel up to the brain, to the clot, and use certain technology to capture the clot and restore the blood flow to the brain. And, and doctor, I, I'd imagine time was very important in the success of, of this case. But at 28 years old, I feel like at the same time, this um, this kind of happens and you don't think to go to the emergency room right away. So, but I mean, that's really what you need to do. Time is of the essence. When it comes to stroke, time is of an essence. The time is brain. Time loss is brain loss. Hmm. There, every 40 seconds, someone in the United States has a stroke. Stroke is the major cause of disability in the nation. However, there is a treatment for a stroke if the patient arrives to the hospital in a timely manner. Doctor, you know, when we hear about, you usually hear about stroke, we think it's usually older people. Arity is, of course, young, she's healthy. Uh, what are the symptoms, and is it unusual for somebody her age having a stroke? So, uh, in regard to stroke symptoms, uh, FAST acronym is the easy way of remembering stroke symptoms. F stands for facial drooping. Observe the patient's face and ask the patient to smile. Is there any droopy smile? A stands for arm weakness. Ask the patient to raise the arms up. Is there any drifting in the arm? S stands for speech. Observe the patient's speech. Is there a Clary speech or is there any word finding difficulty, ask the patient to repeat a, sim a simple sentence like uh, today is a sunny and bright day. Is there any difficulty in that? Those are signs of a stroke. And T stands for time. Call 911 right away. Never, never wait. Never go to bed, uh, take a nap that the symptoms will go away because time loss is brain loss. Okay. Well, we are so uh, happy, Ariti, that you are doing just fine. And we're so happy you're here to tell us your story. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you so much. And for more uh, about this story, head to today.com slash health. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.